Analyzing Box Plots 11.2a Box plots show five key values to represent a set of data. They show the least values, the greatest values, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and the median. To create a box plot, the first thing we do is arrange the data in order. Then, we divide them into four equal sized parts or quarters, and at last, we draw the box and whiskers. So here we have the box, and here we have whiskers on the side. A quartile consists of three values, one of which is the median. And the first quartile is the median of the lower half of the data set. It's also called the lower quartile. The third quartile is the median of the upper half of the data set. It's also called the upper quartile. The number of points a high school basketball player scored during the games he played this season are organized in this box plot. So this would be the points scored. The least points he scored was 15. That's at the end of this whisker. And the greatest value is 30 points. It's at the end of this whisker. This is the same box plot. The median is 21 points. And the median, or second quartile, we write it as a Q with a subscript 2. It divides the data values into two halves, a lower half and an upper half. So here's the first quartile, here's the third quartile, and the median is the second one. See? We can find and describe the lower and upper quartiles. Here we have the same box plot. The lower quartile, that's this Q with the little sub 1, it's the median of the lower half. So this is the median of the lower half. And it's at 17.5 on the number line. The upper quartile, that's this Q with a sub 3, it's the median of the upper half, and it's at 27.5. So the first quartile is at 17.5, and the third quartile is 27.5. So here we have our whiskers. Here we have our box. We can see the, this is the median right here. The interquartile range is the difference between the lower and upper quartiles, which is represented by the length of the box. So the interquartile range is the length of the box. We're not counting the whiskers. And this is at 27.5. This is at 17.5. So that's 10 points. The interquartile range for this high school basketball player's scores during the games he played this season are 10 points. And the length of the whiskers are about the same, which means that both quarters of the data have about the same range. So remember, the first quartile is the median of the lower half of the data set, and the third quartile is the median of the upper half of the data set. So one side of this particular box plot is wider than the other side because the quarter of data on the right side of this median is more spread out than the quarter of the data to the left side of the median. And we can't tell how many values are in the data set by looking at this box plot. But we know the lowest, the greatest, and the median. And the shape of the box plot is used to visualize whether the data values are evenly distributed or grouped on one side of the median. Evenly distributed data are modeled by a box plot whose quartiles, you know, the two whiskers and the two parts of the box, they're all about the same length. So these are all about the same length. So this data is evenly distributed. We're going to talk more about box plots. We're going to talk about similar variability in video 11.2b second part of this lesson, I'm going to com be comparing two box plots numerically. 
I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.